I'm going to show you how to make your very own do-it-yourself body camera. So what we have here is a uh, parts from OtterBox for an iPhone 4S. As you can see I have the neoprene and the hard plastic cover and um, you can buy these on eBay really cheaply. You have to spend too much money for this body camera so we're going to use a iPhone 4S that's deactivated for the video camera itself and for photos if you want to use photos as well. Um, I'm going to put also a wide angle lens on this so we can you know get a larger amount of coverage when we shoot. Uh, what we have here is also the the uh, belt clip holder for the OtterBox and uh, you know I'm kind of customizing it I'm putting these little clips in here I got these clips from a video remote control for a you know like a real camcorder uh, you can get those at a flea market really cheaply here you can see that's where I got the clip from from the back of it as you can see um, they work really good it gives her a little more leverage in Anchorage to whatever you're wearing uh, as you can see also um, I'm kind of drilling holes into this thing it's kind of hard plastic which is good you know for basically holding the the phone to your body uh, you can see also I put about three quarters of velcro to hold the camera inside the body camera um, the outer box so at least you know it won't fly out if you're walking with it or if you're running with it actually so you know we're gonna put this thing together I'm gonna put this other uh, clip on it as you can see I put one already on it and uh, I'm just it's gonna be a little bit of work to put it in there you know, I'm just kind of constructing the camera itself and uh, I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of rubber off it so you can put the recharger easily as you can see I can just fit it in there easily and you know I've adjusted it put a wide angle lens you can adjust a little clip in the back you know either horizontally or vertically so you can put it on your body any way you like it so I'm just going to put on this little clip. I'm just going to show you how I'm doing it. Uh, it's a little tricky. you got to be careful so you won't break it because they're so fragile. And um, you can always look around flea markets or uh, garage sales for these little clips. I mean, I think they make a, a world of difference for holding this uh, bow clip to your body. And as you can see, I'm going to put these little 2 millimeter screws in the back so at least it will hold on. And you can put a little bit of super glue or something so at least it won't you know, move around a lot. It, it takes a little bit of time to figure out how to use it uh, because they're so um, fragile. and they just, They're just not really designed for these uh, bill clip holders at all. But, you know, we're just going to just wing it. So. And as you can see, uh, I think that building your own body camera actually is, you know, it's, I think, saves you a lot of money so you don't have to, if you're interested in ever having your own body camera you don't have to go and buy like a retail body camera that they sell to uh, law enforcement I think they go for about 500 to maybe 200 dollars but uh, I think the resolution and the sound quality on these iPhones uh, are really good and if you have an old camera cell phone or hanging around the house you can use it and uh, you know convert it into a body camera so you can use it for anything and here's a finished product as you can see it has a wide angle lens on it and it's pretty secure to that uh, belt clip holder you, know, you can see it can you know flip it around oh, there you go see it's flipped around to the front so you can actually control it so you can just you know put your code in there and turn it on and flip it to video or photo or you know whatever you need to use it for as you can see it's ready to go see this you know, remember to also flip it around to the front so at least you can see you know what you're looking at you know from the um, console side of the cell phone so there you go so we're gonna go and try this out and see how it looks outside a bit but um, it's not too heavy it's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to it I think it works better on on jackets than a shirt but you can you know put it on a shirt and see how it feels with it also, I recommend you can also build your own body rig using a mole vest, um, military surplus stuff, and you can easily just clip it on there and walk around with it. You don't have to go and spend tons of money on buying an actual, uh, you know, rig to hold a camera to your body, like a GoPro kind of thing. So yeah, this is like a poor man's body camera, but you know, it works, and uh, you'll you know, we'll try it out and you'll see if uh, you know you like it or not. You know, so we, we'll just give it a run.
It's a little shaky at first, but uh, after a while you get used to it and you'll figure out how fast or how slow you should walk when you're wearing it. Um, you can also, you know, run with it if you have something that's a little more sturdier to put it onto. Uh, I would, like I said, a jacket, not really a shirt. A shirt gets too flimsy. Um, so I recommend maybe, like, yeah, like a mole vest that you can attach it to. If you're doing like paintball stuff or you're just doing like uh, doing protest stuff, you know, um, whatever has anything to do with, you know, filming like police or anything like that, you know, they won't, you know, they'll just probably look at you, but they can't do anything because they're not seeing you holding a camera in your hand, so it's on your body. So in a sense, you know, they're not, I don't think you'll get too much flack for having it on you. It's also a great conversation piece. People just wonder what's that thing on your body instead of why you're not holding that camera in your hand. As you can see, I'm just walking around with it. I'm just kind of peer it out. As you can see, it's just my body just kind of making all the movements. The wide angle lens makes a world of difference. It actually covers more uh, video sp uh, space than not having a wide angle lens. So I hope this video helps you, uh, you know, build your own body rigs for your cameras, whether it's a GoPro or a cell phone or whatever. You know, hopefully it'll help you out to save money and you know get the kind of video footage you need to get. Thanks for watching.